Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another uh, Ford Ranger electric update. So I just went ahead and pulled the battery case out of the 98 uh, red Ford Ranger. Now uh, this is a uh, you know this is just step one in a very long process of rebuilding the battery. Now I have a lot of constraints because I don't have a lot of the tools that you typically need to pull uh, a battery so I sort of had to make a makeshift uh, skiff if you will with a little uh, ATV lift that I put underneath it just to, to load up to, so I could unbolt the battery uh, from underneath the frame. Uh, or at least the battery case from underneath the frame and then lower it to ground level. Uh, if I had it to do over again, I'd probably add castings to the bottom of it just so it would roll around. Uh, but as it was, I was worried about clearance and it turns out that, yeah, I would have had an issue uh, with clearance getting the battery out anyway, even if it had uh, those casters or rollers on it to, to move it around. Uh, but that being said, uh, that part actually went fairly well. Overall, the empty case maybe weighs uh, 100, 150 pounds at most. Uh, and with this one, it's a little bit heavier because it actually has stuff in it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I'm going to crack the case open uh, on another video. This is something a lot of people refer to as the coffin uh, or the sarcophagus or something like that because it's just a big, long uh, battery uh, that, that fits underneath the bottom of this Ford Ranger. Uh, but anyway, yeah, without a lift and without like uh, any sort of uh, ramp or whatever that I could pull the truck up onto, I basically basically had to jack it up in place. Uh, what I didn't realize uh, until later is actually the ground that I was jacking it up on wasn't as level as it as it really needed to be uh, and so it started to shift. So I actually had to lower it down before I had extracted the case uh, before uh, you know going ahead and jacking the truck up again uh, just to pull the battery out and I was actually going to pull it out of the out of the rear <laughs> out of the anode uh, underneath that uh, Dadion uh, fake axle. But the problem is, and I didn't realize this until the battery came all the way down, uh, the front end of the battery is way taller than the back end of the battery. It's the, the section of the battery that I hate the most, that I, I want to replace the most. If, if I could, I would just chop that end of the case off. It's also uh, the part of the battery case that's preventing these Ford Rangers from ever being a four wheel drive or a, two, uh, a true two motor, uh, all-wheel drive electric so I think maybe possibly that might be something that I want to do in the near future is just modify the case uh, but as it stands I'm gonna go ahead and just use the original case uh, and and just map out from there uh, how I'm gonna put the battery together uh, how I'm gonna arrange the cells everything of that nature uh, but in the meantime just extracting it was the most important thing uh, so I ended up jacking up both of the tires and then uh, because I couldn't pull it out under the rear axle I ended up pulling it out um, uh, through the the front uh, passenger side uh, because I was able to get enough clearance and uh, just slide it out without having to pull a tire off uh, without having to pull a rim off of you know the hub or anything like that so I was able to just slide out the battery and now the case is done so uh, yeah it's it's a little bit more difficult than it would be with the lift you know, again Ford has a special tool uh, for pulling the battery out and putting it back in again a tool that I don't have uh, so things are actually going to be very very difficult when I do load this uh, battery case back in and try and put it into the truck because you know that's going to be another uh, you know a thousand pounds eleven hundred pounds on top of what the battery case would Ways, uh, and that's going to be a, a, a real difficult thing to uh, reattach without their tools. So I'm going to have to plan out how I'm going to do that uh, because you know that's a lot of weight. That's a uh, you know as as people say, it's a life-threatening amount of weight. So you want to make sure that you're uh, um, you know uh, handling it correctly. Uh, you know, as you can see, you know with a. Uh, <laughs> with the tires on cinder blocks is something that I'm known to do. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, that's it. The the case, the battery case is out. And like I said, uh, the next video up, I think I'll probably do is just uh, crack open and uh, show you uh, what's in the box. So um, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know if you uh, have any uh, insights. Um, you know, one of the things too about this uh, red Ford Ranger electric is it spent a lot of time in the rust belt. So 
I think I'm just going to start pulling parts off of it so I can clear up the frame and then just grind it down and prime it and paint it and get all of that rust out of there. So that will also probably be a future video. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, just one more update in the uh, Ford Ranger electric saga. <laughs>